What up, guys? What up? <clears throat> what up? Wireless has once again raised their Come on, Ryan. Let's hurry it up, man. Let's hurry it up. Oh my god, I started this the, the video at the beginning, and this is what they do to me? They give me ads? I just got my ads, bro. Um, let's let everyone know we're streaming. This is like a workout song, like the guy starts training. Low key, this is kind of nice. I can focus on my stuff, dude. Hooray! The chat is waiting for new messages. So, uh, last time, we had an issue with, um... We had an issue with the targeting system where it would stop working, correct, guys? But... Um, turns out it, it hadn't to do much with the character not being aligned. It had everything to do with, um, some bullions. Ooh. If I do it quick enough. Yeah, see, because we're at false here. And now he can't do no damage. So, um, let's see. What's his damage at? I mean, he should be doing damage. He should be doing damage, yeah. So now we're just gonna f iron out some kinks in this system. We hit this, now we're in false. We're not near the enemy. Uh, let's go to the extent or radius. We're at the radius there of the... Uh, we don't want the capsule radius. We want the detection box radius. Let's look. Let's look at what we're popping here today. <sighs> Hmm. It's a little weird. Like we're multiplying in that case. I should have something here for... For the thing. I'm going to actually pull these together and comment this section. So at the beginning of play, let's create a, um, let's actually create a U property that we can expose to the editor. Uh, blueprint read only. We don't want this to 
Category. There's a category on these. These are just functions, eh? Actually, we'll move this up here then. We'll move it up here. Yo, it's Chase. Chase Lee up in the B. What's up, Chase Lee? What are you up to, man? What are you up to? By the way, we got the thing working, dude. The light is off. Spooky. I know. I was going for a spooky fill today. So, you know how we thought it was because uh, the player or the enemy was unaligned with the player? It turns out it had to do with a bull. Right? But now, ooh, just woke up from a nap. Nice. Check this out. He's like running through the sets. And he ate one of my things. No, that was me who ate it. Just woke up from a nap. Very interesting. Dude, don't lie to me. You know this is boring. But look, whenever he goes through the, uh, and he ate it. What a, what a man. I think I actually ate it. That should be a feature. They can eat your food, huh? So you got to make sure to grab it or they'll eat it and be little, little garbito boys. We need an F factor here. You know, honestly, we could set this. We can, ex we can, well, I don't know why I'm doing that. This is, we can already go here and do this, right? But I guess it's because what I really want to do, um, let's figure out what we want in here. I think that's big enough for the radius. So right now, we're not um, currently removing the player from the enemy list that we have. And by the way, guys, sorry I haven't been present much this week been super busy but yeah now you'll see we're not targeting him and that has to do um primarily with uh that bull the b is near player it has to do with this bull so what i ended up doing is actually separating the overlap events so the way this works is that when we create this script we can bind these overlap events. So I binded one function to all of them. And because that whenever one box is being overlapped, it calls literally all the boxes and checks it on all the boxes. Today is a 12, no, today is a short stream, man. If you guys want longer streams, you're gonna have to subscribe more. You're gonna have to subscribe more, man. No, I'm joking. Once I get a studio or something where I can stream out of primarily and work, that's when hopefully we can start doing a little bit longer streams. I would like to put more effort into the game, but at the moment with a family and everything, it just doesn't seem like it's <coughs> feasible. It doesn't seem like it's a feasible thing. But yeah, let's go into the actual enemy, uh, player enemy scripts. Edit AI Slithion. Let's go ahead and copy. Copy all. Can I just copy? Copy this property value. So how you been today, Chase? What have you been up to, bro? Yeah. 
So whenever the player overlaps this, they should be adding themselves. We're near the player, right? Be near the player, and then in the tick function, if we are near the player, a. I mean, I will tell you that I was here the whole time. I believe you. Chase Lee's, he's always looking good, bro. Chase Lee says, I eat and then sleep and then watch this guy called Raleigh on YouTube. I'm happy, man. I'm happy to become the new favorite, the new OG, right? Like, people just haven't figured it out yet. When they figure it out, they'll figure it out. But, you know, I, I prefer to put the Christian title there just to kind of <coughs> showcase how some people have this bias against us, man. They're missing out on an awesome person. And that awesome person is me. And if you can't push through your bias, then you don't get to love me. You don't. You don't. Sorry, guys. That was a little dramatic. It was a little dramatic. So, um, let's see what's going on here. First of all, right, let's pull the character back a little bit. You'll see that when we start, we're not immediately in the area honestly what i should do right in this ai script first of all let's kind of let's bump up the um let's bump up the ai on this bad boy just a little bit not not like a whole lot right we got our behavior tree and we're moving to this but really what we should be doing is seeing if we're near the player before we move to it if we're not, then we just wander around, right? That's right. Christ of Nazareth loves you, chat. And how's it going, I mean? Hey, why Chase is mod in here? Uh, because I needed a mod that's on all the time. And Chase is in here every stream, man. Chase is in here every stream. He's always lurking the streams. He's listening in. This guy's got like five arms, bro. He could play Outlast. He can make a game and he can mod a stream at the same time it's crazy yeah he is built different dude five arms but yeah man what is different in me nothing you just you're uh you haven't one you haven't asked to be a mod in here and two uh you haven't you, you you haven't been on much recently man which is fine i get you're busy but you know chase is in here every stream but there's nothing wrong with you i just think you're you you know you should focus on your schooling chase lee seems like he's already got all that he's got all that did he's got all of it did all right, let's update the behavior tree. I want to see if I can get something get bull. First. Let's see about what we have here. So we have this. Event receive, execute AI. We attack, we finish, execute. So we have something. So maybe what I should do. I don't need to be mod for now. Yeah, man, when you get more time on your hands and you can be here more freely, just let me know and I'll make you a mod. Because like I said, I need people who can mod all sorts of time of the day. Right now, Chase Lee's in UK. We got someone in Brazil. Right? I'll eventually need mods for Twitch when that gets bigger. Right now, we, we just, I don't think... Since we haven't streamed on it much, we don't have much of a platform over there. It's primarily here on YouTube. And last, yo, shout out to Twitter. You know how many people we had watching on Twitter last time, guys? 11 people, bro. None of them click fo the follow button or the like button, which is fine. But big shout out to them. Hey, we got Sansy in the chat over on Twitch. Everyone on YouTube say, what's up, Twitch? What's up? Sansy, how's your day doing? 
Ox. We got Ox in here. What's up, Ox? I always think of like auxiliary chord. Maybe you should get into that, dude. Making music. Making that music that people lose it to. Oh, yeah. All right. So, um, I need to make a U function that's exposed here. Um, definitely not protect. It is this pu this is public so let's go ahead and make a u function uh blueprint read write blueprintable i guess and we're gonna make this a bull is near player right and this is gonna be a very 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 simple very simple i don't i want to make sure i i don't have one already yeah we don't have one it's going to be a very simple function. All, all it's going to do is just, it's going to return B is near player. That's it. All right. Let's compile. Hey, Sansy. Sansy says some funny stuff. Sue you also got taken down. Hey, Chase on Twitter. On X. Hello, people. King Chase is here chase the king um who sue you who sue you bro who sue you was that like a i'm looking at it right now it looks like it's an emulator sue you got taken down uh, ox says guys i just got poop on myself because my cat drink milk and eat potato his name is mini sam you named your cat mini sandwich dude you better not eat that cat, bro. <laughs> Suyu is a Switch emulator based on the Yuzu emulator, which got destroyed by Nintendo. Yeah, that's weird how they're able to destroy an emulator. From what I know, they, <coughs> <coughs> they can take down, like, the... I don't know what they're called. The SDKs, I think they're called? No, that's not SDK. They can take down, like, the um, the actual games, right? But they can't take down the emulators from what i know because they're essentially their own engines that are just able to read and play these games as well it's interesting do you know how they were able to take it down sansy chase lee raleigh has i don't have poop in my hat okay it's garlic we've already we've had this discussion like five thousand times i have garlic i never take off my hat it's to surprise the vampires so when they get near, the garlic hits them in a certain radius, exposing them to the ability for me to take these guys down. You ate the garlic? You didn't eat the garlic, dude. So what, you're saying you ate the garlic and then pooped on my head at night? I am a vampire. Dude, you weak. You weak AF, bro. You ain't no vampire. Look at you. Show us some muscles, dude. You ain't got no muscles. You ain't got no muscles, bro. You ain't even got the, the teeth. You ain't got the pointy teeth, them canines. You ain't got no canines, son. I love eat cat babe. Ox, you're going to have to calm down with that cat eating in here. You're making me extremely scared. Okay, because I have two cats that I love, and I will not tolerate this type of conversation. I show you on Discord, dude. He's going to send a GIF. Look, what did I say? What did I say, bro? Dude, Johnny Bravo, definitely a vampire, if you think about it. He's a, he's a vampire of a different breed. He's a sunwalker, dude. <laughs> Check my picks. Yeah, they don't make shows like Johnny Bravo anymore. But let's uh let's uh, make a new behavior. How do we do that? New task. Right click. Can we do new behavior? New decorator. We click this. Decorator new task. Can I go like this? New service. What is this? How did I make one last time? 
How did I make one last time? Ox says, I don't know. I sleep night. Then he look like scare when is night. So catch me later. I buy a cat if I have money, but sadly no money. Same. Same, dude. I spend it all on games and uh, games and the food. It's an AI and content browser. Who's an AI? Johnny Bravo? Dude. Bro. Bro. What's up with the cat, dude? Cat looking fat, bro. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Sorry. My ADHD is, is coming out of me today. Today. BTT service. What did I name this? BT task. I should be able to say task. Blueprint. We're going to get rid of this. I think this is the wrong one. But we'll check it. Just in case. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bro, Chase Lee let him cook. Yeah, dude. Let me cook. Let me cook that ratatouille, dude. I cook ratatouille out on the ocean on a buoy. I agree with Chase Lee. Is it because you guys have the same name, Chase? We got two Chase Lees in the chat, BTW. Give a big shout out to Chase Lee Gang. There's no need to explain, you know what I'm saying? Receive, what is it? Activation AI? Is that what that one is? Yep. Activation, execute. Event, receive, receive. I just got activation. I don't have none of this. So I'm assuming this is probably the wrong one. Parent class, blueprint base, BT service, BT task. See? Big difference. So how do you make a new task? You go right here, right? You click this. You go new task. And then, you know, you just look. Whoa. Okay, so you have to click that. And then this will give you the task base. Is near player. And then we can do all the fun stuff. Yes. Yes, plocks. Auxiliary says, Breaking Raleigh with Chase Lee, son. I want go and I come back after 12 years. I got you milk che Chase Lee. I'm so confused by that sentence. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Breaking Raleigh with Chase Lee, son. I want go and come back after 12 years. Although, for your, uh, your English is pretty good. I'll give you that. You just got to work on uh, putting things together a little bit better. Hurt my head, that's now. <laughs> head hurt bad. Bad head hurt. It's fine. Hey, man, he, he speaks better English than I do. Uh, was What do you speak, Ox? Arabic? Aramaic? I'm sorry. I'm an ignorant Englishman from America. <laughs> Chase Lee need drink pills. Yeah, he do need drink pills. Is near... Oh, yeah, we have to cast to, um, what is it, Slytheon? Enemy Slytheon BP. We'll just do enemy character class. I don't think we need to do the class. Boom, boom, cast to my enemy character. Controlled pawn. We pop that in there. Then from here, we can go is near... Sorry, we can go is near. Oh, oh. Near player is, do we have anything? We don't. This is confusing. This is a U function that is blueprintable. Blueprint callable. Uh, 
All right, blueprint callable. That's what I think it is. Let's go ahead and save and... Hey, it's Owl in the Brush, everybody. On Twitch, everyone on Twitter, make sure to say hi to Owl in the Brush. As well as YouTube, you guys got to say hi to Owl too. What's up, Owl? And Chase Lee, sadly, his age 68 and he didn't pay bills and died bad ending. Dude, Chase Lee never dies, bro. He's got, there's too many Chase Lees on the planet for that to happen. There's probably going to be more spawning in the chat soon. We, we don't know. Al says Arabic. Put stress on first syllables. Arabic. It's 69, Ox. Yeah, he's 69 years old. <laughs> Not funny. Is near player. So, then we return this, right? Phoenix execute. Finish, execute, right? Wait, if we do a branch here, right? This is gonna be different, chat. It's gonna be a little different. Condition, if true, then true. If false, then not true, right? So if this fails, I think that's the idea, right? So now what we want to do is is uh, run this bad boy, right? VTT task is near player. We drag and drop it. Non stop it. Actually, what we could do is do what we have the sequence and then we have selector okay okay what, what do i do from there do i do that how do we make it so like if this is this then all of these will go ox says i don't know i broke my bones to get signed on football and sadly i drink all pills dude don't drink all pills Go to the hospital, dude. Go throw up and call the ambulance. Do not take all pills, chat. I repeat, do not take all pills. Call suicide hotline. Life is great. Life is fine. The coding octopus. Yeah, yeah, coding octopus. I'm able to manipulate things on a different spectrum. So sequence nodes, execute them, and then and, and stop it. And we'll stop execute. Fails. This is different. This is, this is the same thing. Stop. When one of their children fails. And we'll stop executing its children when one of their children ex succeeds. So if we want this one, what is this? This looks so weird. Is this how I'm supposed to live my life like this? There's got to be a better way to create some trees in here. We're going to have to look up, you know, right? We're going to have to look up some stuff. If this fails, what else do we do? Can we, can we do this and then have him move around? I just see Chase Lee on hospital dying. Rest in peace. Chase Lee, grandpa will miss you. Dude, what is up with you guys and wanting Chase Lee to pass away? Chase Lee's a nice guy. I swear. First safe, now you, Ox. This is ridiculous. Y'all need to learn to be a little bit more friendly to Chase. Chase, what is your perspective on this matter? <coughs> That's uh, my monitoring, my monitoring uh, computer. I can see everything from here. Right, like I can touch this. Right. I can uh hold up, I gotta set this up right. Yeah, I could 
touch that, right? And that pops up, and that, that pops up. You know? Reducerous. Yes, it is reducerous. Sorry, I joke, I swear. You should be joking. You made Chase Lee leave, probably. Chase Lee, you can't stand for this heresy, brother. This is something you can't stand for. What a simple parallel. I'm trying to see, like, how we get this guy to wander. Do we need to set something up where he just walks left and right? Yes, variant. Dude, all the Chase Lees are coming in, chat. You guys started this, bro. Look, they're everywhere. Do you see what you've done, Ox? He's pulling in his gang. The gang has come, Chase Lee gang. He's like he's like Vega Punk from One Piece, dude. He's like got eight of them. There's eight of them, bro. But yeah, let's check and see if this works. So, dude, I ain't even near you, bro. I ain't even near this guy, dude. How do I know? How do I know? Oh, you know what it is, chat? Did I put this on the middle one? I did, didn't I? Like a dummy, dumb, dummy, dumb. Yeah, that was my dummy, dumb, dummy, dumb. Let's go ahead and... Okay. A copy property values. Based. And then uh, for the middle hitbox, we're going to have to... We're going to have to explore a little bit about what we, you know, change things up. Tighten that up. Let's get this around Chase Lee. This is going to be for like when he bumps into the character. Right? And then the extent is right there. Maybe I had the extent too far and that's what was going on. I don't know. Oh, he's he's there. He's, he's still chasing me. What is going on? Chase Lee! You can tell your buddies to leave. Dude, dang, there's a lot of Chase Lees in here, chat. Holy moly. Hello, my workers. They've spawned. They're here to destroy and deploy words that annoy and make Ox feel paranoid. Well, <clears throat> hmm, it's interesting we have one for the physics channel here, but I need to see why this is calling be near player is false at the beginning. If we have a player reference, we're going to run all this other stuff, every tick, all right? If B is near player, then we run this. But the only time we set this to near player, ooh, right, is when we get into this collision here. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Where is collision? Where is collision? Yeah. If overlap component is the detection box. Guys, we lost Gang Raleigh and we lost a good Raleigh soldiers. Rest in peace, Grandpa King Raleigh of Judah Lion. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Judah King Lion. Judah King Lion. Yesterday, I made a streamer do a backflip. Raleigh, you need to up your game. Wow. Do I look like a guy that can do a backflip? I can do a back roll. If that's what you want to see. But that's kind of messed up, man. The thing streamers do for views, bro. It's like what people will do for money. All right, I'll do a backflip. Ah! I tried. I tried. Didn't work. 
I looked up and noticed the freaking the thing is hella messed up now. How was that backflip, dude? Was that good enough for you? Was that good enough for you? Hmm? Oh, dude. Dude. Detection box. If not near player and overlapped component, get F name. UE, let's... I don't... Hit. Let's see why this is. If this is actually happening, the, the, it's acceptable. Sweet. Yeah, dude, I do backflips all the time, bro. Ox says I just got scammed from Raleigh and is scam me twenty bucks. What are you, man? I'm sorry, dude. Uh, but I will not be sending that money back. Get good, noob. Now send me another twenty. I'm no happy. Why you no happy, Chase Lee? What happened to thee? This is this is annoying. This is annoying. This should not be occurring. This should not be a thing. Why is this true at the beginning of play? Let's just set this at beginning to false. All right. Let's cook it again. Dude, Ox, you made all of the Chase Lees mad, bro. Oh, warning hit. How is that even a hit? How is he hitting him? He can't hit him. There's no way that this is hitting. M hitbox. Where is it? Detection box. All right. What is this? This is the middle, right? We got to fix all this now. Darn it. Darn it. Can't, why can't I just be a normal streamer, guys? Why do you have to make this hard for me? Guys, gang is back. Who is gang? Can you explain? Hmm? Simulate physics. Collision. Why can't I use my brain to find the things? Copy. Enter in here. Paste. Right? We paste. This is the detection box. Maybe there's something to do. Hold out. Hit it in game. Yeah, we want that hit it in game. Let us go back and copy this copy transform paste paste you've got a lot of viewers i know man the chase gang the chase lee gang bro this is ridiculous Generate overlap events, overlap all dynamic. I want to not overlap all dynamic. That's what's going on. Okay. In here, I'm not making sure that the other actor. I'm not checking to make sure that this is the player. And that is the real issue, chat. See how I figured that out in like 40 minutes? See how smart I'm not? You've got a lot of viewers today. I know, dude. I'm at 500 right now. 500. Come on. Come on. Come on, Chase Lee. Fight me, Chase Lee! Chase me! He's not chasing anything, bro. 
What's going on with this man? We're not even getting a hit. We're not getting a hit. We're not getting a hit. Let's overlap all dynamics and go to custom. We want to ignore everything. Visibility. I don't know if we want to, you know, ignore that. Ignore, 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 ignore. We want to ignore everything um, besides the pawn. No heat. I know this is not great. This is bad. I'm no happy. My AI just stopped working for no reason. What did you do, dude? What'd you do? Yeah, why... Is this the right player? It's got to be the right player. All right. We're going to do a little bit of this and play a ref or and other actor. Nice. I love it when the writer freezes. Do not do that. Do not do that. It is not right for you. Do not treat me like poo. I got bars, bro. Best rapper on the planet. Oh no, dude, I, I can't say that out loud. I've probably freaking summoned Eminem. He's gonna show up out of nowhere and be like, contortion, mixed with abortion, abortion, in a caution, and then jumping over around, and you, you know, start going all crazy. Be like, calm down, Eminem. Here you go again. Get close. Come on, Chase. What is first you don't want to work. Now you do, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want to work, buddy. Curry only. No things. So we can overlap with the player, but we're not overlapping with the player. He has a tail meter? Yeah, it's the proud progress bar, dude. We're going to change it later into something else. Probably do more of a physical transition. Chase Lee, it's time to go. All of you go work on fragments of yesterday. Dude, I love it. Yeah, uh, he has a tail meter. This is the indicator for like the proud progress, like how far you are into entering into it. It's merely a placeholder, and I use it as a moment to... Um, Practice a little bit of my own UI work with the help of Steven, by the way. And if Steven's in here, shout out to him. Shout out to Steven. Shout out to Steven. So we set this at the beginning to false, which is fine. We have the player ref, right? Do we got player ref? It should call every frame. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't interest. interest. The breakpoint will not hit no executable code. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on with my game? This is such a shame. Um, let's save. Let's restart. I feel like this is like an unreal thing. It's an unreal thing. But yeah, he has a chase. He has a chase meter. <laughs> he has a prowl meter, man. I think I'm going to do something more of like an animation to indicate it. We'll see. I'm waiting for inspiration to hit me. Um, but as of the moment, it's the, so originally when we clicked, there was like a real big blank, right? Whenever you would go to prowl, 
you know, you, there's a one second wait for it. So it's a little confusing. So to mitigate that, I added this progress bar. I tried stuff where it would work near where the player placed their finger. But the issue with that is since it's away from the player, the, the player is looking at it. So when it hits, they let go of the touch. And it's because they're not associating that progress bar with the, the, the actual character Judah, right? So when they see him transition, they don't see that that's what that's for because they're looking away from him. If you use... B hey, guess what, dude? I It worked until I used BP, bro. It worked until I used BP, bro. I added this and now it doesn't work, dude. What's going on, bro? Why isn't he chasing me, dude? Right here, let's look. Let's give her a looky-loo. Behavior tree. Not working. It's constantly failing. We're not near the player. Right? Maybe I need to do, yeah. Controlled pawn. Sweet. So if it's true, then we succeed. If not, we don't. Cancel. We don't. We don't want that there. Uh, so the issue is that this is not setting, this is not setting to true, right? We're not getting an overlap begin event here, right? Do I really go through all this just to see that? Is that what I really do? Do I need to do that? I don't think I have to do that. Where am I getting my player reference at? At the beginning? Mm, am I getting it at beginning? Yeah. I get my player reference right here. Hmm. So no executable code. All right. That's working now, at least. Let's go down the line. Is near player false, so we just remove from enemy lists. Maybe we should check if we're in the list before we even remove from the list. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It'll just find out it's not in the list. Yo, what's up with all the grumpy faces? What's up with all the grumpy faces, dude? You guys should be happy. Come on. Come on. Come on. So now this, I guess, oh, on overlap begin, plays immediately. We're like, yo, is it this? It isn't that. Let's bounce, right? So let's play here. Let's play here. Let us see what we do. Uh, are you going to go to Game Dev Con? No. Maybe, actually. That's interesting. So on detection, overlap begin doesn't necessarily work. But does it not work because of that? I don't know. Does this work? Does this work? Yo, it's Corey. What's up, Corey? What about you, uh, Owl? Owl in the brush? It depends on if I can get combat and other stuff working. But the big issue is, is uh, funding. If I don't get the money to go, I can't go. Simple as that. Simple as that. All right. So. I believe this is going to call. We click play. That works, right? 
on overlap begin works this doesn't work though it calls once at the beginning and then that's it doesn't call anymore And I wonder why that is. Okay, we call this first. We're gonna hit play. That's gonna on detection overlap. So you have to specifically call it that or it just won't work. Yo, yo, bro, game looks good. Hey, Arrows, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the stream, I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, we've been working on it for a while. Currently trying to get some combat in, but it's proving to be a little bit difficult because of um, overlap events. I'm not getting any right now. I get them on this function. And the reason why I created a whole entirely new different function for this one is because um, when you... So I'm binding essentially any overlap function to that function correct so if one box overlaps it's going to call it for every single other box but i found that you can input you know another event however it just it's it's not it's not working as intended man it's a little depressing it's not working as intended Chase Lee, I have no money for plane tickets for you. Yeah, man, it's going to it's gonna cost you like an arm and a leg, Chase. I'll just swim the Johnny Bravo muscles. Chase Lee's secretly a freaking Chad. Just out in the ocean swimming for days. He's Aquaman and we don't even know it. So, but that wouldn't explain while we're not getting the hits. Remember when we first played this? If the other actor is the player actor, watch. Let's, uh, let's move him in here and see what happens. Let's play. Hmm. Shmi. Hmm. The breakpoint will currently be hit, which is weird. Uh, why would it not work? I got to scroll this. I got to make this bigger, this chat bar. I apologize, guys. Cross the pond. It only takes a good 40 minutes. Dang, bro. Dang, bro. So when I compile, now it works. It's like, yeah, we work. Sweet. Come on. Follow me, Chase. The heck? So the other actor isn't the player. Other actor is the Aeon, Aeon, with Slithian? Number four? There's only one, dude. Le Pande. That reminds me of the show, The Warrior. That's what they call it, the pawn. What is, what is this Slithion? He's number four? Let's uh, rename him. Number four. Number zero. So the other character that it's hitting itself, other actor, is equal to itself. How do you remove yourself from this? And this equals null. 
Fair enough. But we've began play. I believe we get that on begin play. We, yeah, right here we get this on begin play. Let me try this. Let me try this and see if this works. You don't, Raleigh. I don't what? We're running into a whole list of issues today, boys, just for the information. Hey, 293 subscribers. Let's go, chat. We're close to 300, guys. Can we do it? Chase Lee, did you subscribe to me on all your Chase Lee accounts? <laughs> if not, hey, yo, shout out to you guys. I'm sorry. My, my alerts don't work, boys. I don't know what it is. Every time I turn off OBS, they don't work. And I mean, I guess it's because I have it shut down source when not visible. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking at you guys, dude. Shout out to y'all. You don't know where those subs came from? All right. We appreciate all you guys then. Thank you all. Thank y'all. If you haven't already, make sure to click the like button on this, man. I mean, he's chasing me now. That's good. So that was one of the big reasons is I wasn't getting a reference to the correct character. Now, if we move him out of the way, he's still chasing me. He's chasing me like Chase Lee. Uh, Arrows Interactive Studios says, How the actor is hitting itself. Maybe you can custom channel for the player in the collision box. If part of the enemy, then the only detects the player channel, so it won't detect itself. <coughs> so I think it's going to... I agree with you partially, because um, specifically here in this line of code, that's essentially what I'm doing. I'm making sure that the other actor I'm hitting is the character actor. So what it'll do is it'll run this overlap event for every single overlap that it has. So if there's multiple overlap events, it'll it'll hit this. The only the primary issue that I have right now, Arrow, is that this only plays once. Right? It only plays once. And it seems. Let me go to begin play really quick here. It seems as if. This extent is further than it really should be, which is interesting because we're basing this detection off of um, this detection box here. So if the player is in here, you're near the player. If you're not in here, you're not near the player. Um, however, yeah, see, if I started off false, that's so weird. When we begin play, if we remove this, it starts off at false, even though, like right here, if we remove this, I'm slow. You're not slow, man. I'm slow. I've been working on this for eons, it feels like. But I've never done combat before, or AI, so it makes sense. Honestly, any any approach is appreciated here, because I can't... I can't think of every single way to handle this situation. So I appreciate you giving, giving your, uh, giving me a penny for your thoughts. Or should I say a penny for your thoughts? I don't know. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. I'm stupid. Uh, but for some strange reason, this just plays once. It just plays once. Why does my on overlap event only play once let's 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 try something really quick let's debug this let's go into the actual slithion we're gonna go into the bp we're gonna go into the events we're going to grab this and we are going to what event
on collision. We don't want nothing. On component, on begin overlap. I don't know. What is this? Select function, create a matching function. Can I just do event? Add custom event. So let's just print something for now. Print string. Uh, if branch, let's do a branch really quick. A branch. What? Hey. Hey. Sorry. We're going to do branch from here. We're going to ask ourselves a very important question. Me and Alan, the fascinating, interesting. Are you guys making fun of me and how I only say interesting and fascinating all the time? Hmm. Fascinating. Interesting. It is interesting, guys. It's intriguing. What am I what am I supposed to say? Right? Uh so we want to essentially say equals to uh what the player reference Get world. Let's see if we can get world. Get world. Get world. How can we get first? I know we can get access to the player, but I'm seeing if I can do it without setting a get controller. Returns local player controller viewing this pawn. It's flabber. Dude, I love that word. Flabber. Kind of sounds like gassy though, you know, like a fart almost. Which is why I like it so much. I'm flabbergasted. Blown away. Um, first of all, let's set up that. And let's get a... I don't know. Cast. How do you guys get a cast from here to another player? Soft. Let's see. What can I just... Player... Player character? Get player character. I can. I can do that. And we're getting nothing. I see, like me, messages are getting duplicated. Hope I'm not spamming the chat. My network has some issues sometimes. No, you're fine, and you're not currently at the moment. I'm just getting a lot of spam from all the other... Ch no, I'm joking. It's just a lot of Chase Lee and Al making fun of me for saying interesting all lot. You sent leaks? Dude, I don't trust your leaks. I don't trust your leaks. Every time you say you sent me a leak... Look, this is it's just him talking smack. God dancing, that's dope. It's okay to be number two, dude. You're, you're it's okay to be number three, Chase. <laughs> it's okay to be number three, man. There's no problem with that, bro. Sofia helps you sell at every stage of your business. Like that, let's put it online and see what happens. We're gonna put on this one. Because I already know, like, if I don't, it's going to put on something we don't like. Do you want a real leak? Dude, you're, you, don't, you don't make games anymore, bro. You don't appreciate the gamerness. The game sensation. Musubi? Dude, Musubi. We almost at 300 subs. Also, what's up? Nothing, man. Big chilling today. Big chilling. Super excited to be back streaming. Um, after the stream, I'm going to work on a script a little bit more for the devlog. 
I'm going to try to get it out this weekend, but my mom asked me to do a couple of things for my brother's birthday, so when he comes back, he can see these things. So, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. It might have to be next week, guys. I apologize. <laughs> Arrow says, that's good. I see myself all over the place. Nothing wrong with that, man. You got to see yourself in a, in a place to, to be in that place. Rashad, by the way, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome to everyone. By the way, guys, uh, if you haven't already, make sure to join the Discord, right? Links in the description of this video. On Twitter, it's the top pin tweet. On Twitch, you guys are going to have to go to my Twitter and, and do that, right? I might have a YouTube button. And then there, you know, you go to the live section. It. It's hard for you guys, okay? I'll admit it. I'll put a Discord panel in there eventually when I'm not being lazy. But also, if you guys are interested, we now... Everyone, get the drum rolls rolling. Get the drum rolls rolling. Get them rolling. We got ourselves a Patreon. So if you're interested in seeing yourself in the devlog credits as well as... Having access to exclusive beta testing capabilities. Make sure to find your way to the Patreon. And, you know, you can even join for free, dude. It's nice because if we have anybody, if we have more keys for the beta testing than we have, you know, supporters, that's going to eventually trickle down the line to those who are the free members. And the email that it provides me gives me the capability to do that. Right? So if you're interested, make sure to do so. It also involves exclusive like streams on the Discord, which I have to set up a role for soon. No, pay me, dude. You pay me, bro. You pay me. I want some water. So guys, I have some big news. I have some big news. One of them is that I have to use the restroom and I'll be right back. But the other one, I will be excited to join the fabulous. Chase Lee, the only thing you own is a torture chamber, dude. It's the only thing you own, boy. You missed me. I'm good. To, I'm happy to hear, man. So you guys excited for me? So I think we might have to rewrite how we're handling all of this combat scenario. Right now we have it based on if Chase Lee is near us. And let's be real, it doesn't look like Chase Lee is ever going to detect if he's near us. Right? The Unreal Engine hates me. 
The Chase Lee server. What did I say? Oh, I, you guys didn't hear me? Um, well, you missed out, man. I'm sorry. You'll never know now. You'll never know. You'll never know. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to debug this here, this here thing. We're not getting anything. Like absolutely nothing at all. So it was pointless. See, blueprints didn't work, man. Freaking blueprints. Don't you need the perception system? I don't even know what the perception system is. UE5 perception. Oh. Whoa, so you could do all of this? This is this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. They got all of this, bro, and I've been making it all. And you didn't tell me, Chase Lee, you little stinker butt. This is ridiculous, dude. You didn't tell me about this, bro? You had me swimming in the water with no freaking life support? Is no collision. Hmm. That could be it. It was working prior to all this, though. Just to put that out there. Um, but it could be that. Something could have gotten messed up along the way. Let's check it out. Wow, wow, wow. Can character step on? No. So I have it to uh, collide or overlap with the pawn. Does anyone else see anything weird here? If I go overlap all dynamic, let's just try that. Maybe there's something we did wrong. Look. Oh man, look, now he's, you made him really happy with that. Yeah, so look, we're calling hit here. So it gets called once and after that it's done. But let's check out perception. This whole little perception thing. In addition to behavior trees, which can be used to make decisions on which logic to execute and the environmental query system, EQS, used to retrieve information about the environment. Another tool you can use within the for AI framework, which provides sensory data for an AI, is the AI perception system. This provides a way for pawns to receive data from the environment, such as where noises are coming from, if the AI was damaged by something, or if the AI sees something. This is accomplished with the AI perception component, which acts as a stimuli listener and gathers register stimuli sources. When a stimuli source is registered, the event on perception update or on target perception update for target selection is called, which you can use to first am i annoying you guys yet so you can add an ai perception thingamabob this is ridiculous where where, where does this get added to the the actual ai component is or the is this on the ai controller is this on the AI controller? Where do you put this? Stimuli source to the player pawn. Okay. That is interesting. 
That is interesting. So we have a blackboard, a behavior tree. Now we need to add a U property, edit anywhere. Well, honestly, we don't even need this, right? Blueprint read, right? We're gonna put, I don't know. Let's see how long this takes to, but if they have something for it already, that's perfect, right? Um, AI perception component. Do I need a listener interface? Uh, That's a little annoying though, because now I'm gonna have to probably recreate. Once we compile this, I'll have to restart the project and see if we have it on the controller. All right, let's go to our enemies. Action path following component. We got a path following component. It's not quite in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to restart the project, ladies and gentlemen, and see if that's what we get. Me and Arrows are just so smart. You guys are smart, actually. Low key. I love you guys. Out on the brush says let's go with five O's. Wait. Four O's. By the way, someone do something. I want to see if my alerts work. Actually, I could test my alerts. Test you dumb alerts. The alert type. Did it work? It did work. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. I just subscribed to myself, chat. Oh, Dude, I just donated $3 to me, bro. Yes, Chase, Chase Lee's a very good guy. When he's not sending me mean gifts of being number two. Speaking of number two, I've got to go. No, I'm done. I don't have to do number two. But we do want to go into the enemy's script and check out the thing. Looks like it's loading, and as you can tell, we don't have that perception thing there. It's, you know what it is? I'll tell you right now, chat. I will tell you right now. I mean, it comes with a behavior tree, right? Action comps. That's interesting. Behavior tree. Mm, oh. Oh. None of these things are on here. We run the behavior tree. But we don't have one in here. Hmm. Hmm interesting but we do have a behavior tree okay let's do ourselves a solid here and actually create these things um in a constructor What did I call this? A behavior tree. My behavior tree equals create default sub object u behavior tree text behavior tree. 
It's okay to be number four. Dude, you're number you're number you're number five now. So I don't need to set up the attachments. See how that works, Chase? Every time you try to put me down a peg, I put you down one next to me, bro. Now you're number five. So let's check this out for a second here. My behavior tree, now we want to, I don't even know if we want to create a blackboard. I don't think we need to. Why do I have this blackboard data here? I don't know. Regardless, uh, let's create it and see what happens. I can't spell blackboard. And, um, we don't need to set up an attachment as I thought, but now we need to create this thing. I can't believe I didn't set this up when I did this. AU, perception. It's the next kind of a artificial intelligence. Intelligence. Au. Au perception. So I'm by possess in pawn, pawn. I guess we just have this here, but we, we don't run anything. We do it all here. <coughs> yes, is at the time I figured it would be better to do it like that. I don't know, but let's go ahead and save and do all that and then see what this does with our, our class. Compile. Oh my god, I got my AI perception in here, dude. It put the perception in, but nothing else. Let's see what happens if I make another one. Uh, test control or shoot AI controller. My enemy AI controller. Test controller. Let's open her up, huh? And we have the same issue. So I guess it won't create those things. Interestingly enough, um, although before we actually go ahead and do that, I do want to restart this just in case. AI streamers on Twitch are weird. Maybe we hit, get like an AI streamer, like helper bot that we put to the left side of the screen. Yeah, real AI are awesome people. Dude, have you ever had a conversation with an AI person before? I asked Siri to marry me today, and they told me that romance makes them awkward. Right? Ridiculous. So, what does the AI perception do? Run X theory and you're saying that on the character in my main character cpp i gotta get the h we have that in here i have to create this as well correct arrow sorry it took me a bit to get here we still have to get the the vaults working 
But that's like a whole thing, dude. I like tried it for a bit and I was like, I'm taking way too long with this. We need to switch to something else. Let's uh, let's go ahead and create that. Let's. Why is this in stamina? What am I thinking? Good lord. Good lord, dude. AI. Siri needs a funny bone. I remember. Um, I had somebody who told her to shut up once and she got really sad and was like, after all I've done for you. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Shmi. Shmi. What's going on, Shmi? Main character, Shmi. AI stimuli. AI perception. Ah. Perception stimuli source. System base. Stimuli source. What does that even derive from? Stimuli, AI perception, stimuli source. AI perception. Works great in the controller. Do I have to do it to the player controller? That's interesting. It won't let me create it via the character new AI system base <laughs> that was you guys who did that to me stop thinking about me so much UI perception component What is this actually? F no! Include perception. Perception. AI sense, hearing, sight, da da da, stimuli, source component. I mean, we, we got to have access to this, right? This, But I hope this doesn't make me remake everything. That would be a really big sad moment for me. I'd have to go through everything. I haven't read chat forever. Yawn, sleepy time. I wish it was sleepy time for me. I love sleepy time. I love sleepy time one of my favorite times and it didn't put the freaking carrot brackets for me what is this we're gonna have to do a huge refactoring with how we do the whole character system eventually it's gonna be big big sad
All right. Okay, cool. Let's save everything and compile. Compile! Oh, man. Oh, no. What happened? Maybe it's mad that I added that. I would doubt it, though. We'll just restart it so it has to build regardless. And we can compile again. I fixed my AI. What did you do to fix it? Oh. Process fatal error. Here, when we create the default sub-object. We're, we're right here with this. It's mad. That's because I'm not setting it equal to create default sub object. I apologize, chat. Hey, Ox, welcome back to the stream. Can't believe you left in the first play. By the way, shout out to Chase Lee Studios now on Twitch following. My behavior tree didn't work because my radius and acceptance radius for some reason went back to zero. Hmm. Hmm. So this essentially just tells the player if you're nearby. Hey, now we have the AI stimuli. Let's go back to when we were reading things. It's interesting, though, that I don't get... Do I have all these set up? I just have it on YouTube, it feels like. Yeah, YouTube and Twitch. No, I have it on Twitch, too. Do I have to click... Okay. So that's on there as well. Nice. So it should all work now. Hopefully. God knows it doesn't do it all the time. Okay. So now that we have the run behavior tree and the set value is object and all the other crazy wild cool things, we can start doing stuff. Uh, apparently, um, open up Microsoft Store. Why I would do that, I don't know. All right, let's check out the perception. Man, can please give me a link to Twitch? You want the link to Twitch, bro? All you gotta do is go to Twitch and uh, go to my channel. I'm no happy. Chase Lee, never happy. Boom. There's my Twitch, guys. If you prefer Twitch, you can go check it out there. Uh, if you're on X, guys, make sure to follow. And if you're on here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hey, let's go. Chase Lee with the reshare on my ex social meet meet me meet 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 media. 
Uh, but yeah, let's go back into this and go into the enemies. Let's go into the da 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 da, -da. and let's read how to set all this up. Okay. In addition to the common property available in the detail panel for the AI perception component, you can add these type of senses to perceive under the AI perception and sense config section. Bye bye. I love you, man. Love you too, bro. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. So, and this is in what? The AI perception component. So, it's something that I have to set up in the AI controller. Am I assuming? The AI controller, boop, bop, boop. Public, we'll do private. Set up perception senses senses we're going to generate a definition um so i'm assuming what we do is we go a perception dot sense get or sent sense enable configure sense Let's look at how they do it on here. Sense config. We can add an element to this. Dominant sense. We can also do that. Index. We can also do this. AI prediction site. But what does that do after that? And in here, we can add all the stuff. Okay. So guys, the reason why I'm setting this up in C++ is so I can get access to it in other places. Uh, see you soon, my brother. Ditto, man. Ditto. Just got back from Hawaii. So you didn't tell me you were going to Hawaii. My brother lives out there. And he knows where all the cool places are. I could have told you. You could have met him. And you could have gone and chilled in Hawaii with him. So we can configure, but we can't. What is this? Where does he live in Hawaii? Put his address here. No, I'm good. I'm good. Wait, are you still in Hawaii? Hmm. No. So you could create your own UI senses. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we create a sense now. We'll do something like... Um, Let's do that. U AI sense config. U AI sense. We have this right here, right? So I'm thinking we create a UI sense. Right? 
Import type, multiple choice. So I guess maybe since it's a multiple choice, we do this and then set it equal to UI sense. You're in Califate. So how was it though? What did you do? What did you go see? UI sense dot underscore yeah, site. So we could do thinking something like this equals site does not <laughs> name a value. Okay. So what the heck do I do? What do I do? Huh? We have a sense config. That's essentially just a array that you can add to and you could say site and then you can configure. So let's ask chat GPT as a final. <coughs> AI sense. I was in Maui. I saw the big old earth pimples known as volcanoes. What's a Kareem? Ramadan Kareem is uh, their, their big fasting event. Did you pop the uh, earth pimples while you were there, owl? Thank you. Sorry guys, I'm asking a ton of
So you have to register a sense config to do that. So you get the perception system and you say register. Register, what is it? Sense? I can register stimulus, but I can't register. I can't register. So I have to set the dominant sense. But the, the issue with setting the dominant sense, as we see here, from what I know, is if I click that, then I don't get all of the configurations with it. So I'm assuming we configure the site here, and then we make the dominant scent that one. But is there any way to have multiple senses on these things, guys? Right? Okay, so this these use all those, but I'm able to configure them here. Right? And then the dominant sense is just literally the one that overwrites all of them. Which is probably... You know, sight. AI sense prediction. What the heck is that? Did you guys know it's Friday? Yes, it is. It's Friday. The day of the fryer. It's interesting I can't do that, though. I can do this. Probably. What is that? New. New object. That's interesting. There's a lot. Jesus. It almost feels like I might as well just do it in the the actual BPs. Look, Nazar, if you have one million money, what n name game and make? 100 million. So you're saying if I had... What is it? Is that a, isn't that a billion? No, it's not. That's a thousand million dollars is a billion. I'd make Lion of Judah, 100%. Day of the French fries, dude. I'm going to get French fries today now, or pizza.
Let's see, run behavior tree, okay. Let's see what, what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Chase Lee thinks he's got some leaks. He's got AFI and FPC. Raleigh. Raleigh. Fries and Yeats losers. That's the best one I can think of. <laughs> oh, th there's a horror mansion in this uh, leak he's given us. There's a horror mansion. You run a mansion of horror. Okay. Okay. There's also a camp parkour. Pawn sensing component. Well, it said uh, it's more of I'm trying to see how to implement it via code, but it looks like it's easier to do here. I mean, you just create a config, right? And then you can change it however you want. Um, but I'd have to do this for literally each one. And I'd like to have a controller for each class. But I guess as we progress, we'll figure out more and more and yada yada. But for now, let's run it like this. Sight radius. Lose sight radius. Peripheral vision. Half angle degrees. And I guess we'll make it sight. AI prediction. Ah, so this is like for shooting, which we'll need. The AI perception stimuli source. <laughs> Man, you don't make GTA 6. Bro, that's like a that's that takes more than a hundred million. I'll tell you that right now. That game's gonna take way more than a hundred million to make. Probably in the billions. So much goes into Rockstar's games, it's crazy. Uh, the AI perception stimuli source component gives the owning actor a way to automatically register, register itself as a stimuli source for the designated senses within the perception system. An example use case would be to have an AI character with an AI percep perception component set up to perceive stimuli based on the site. You can then use the stimuli source component in an actor and register it as a stimuli for sight, which would enable the AI to see the actor in the level. Add button in the blueprint and select AI Perception Stimuli Source. Has been added. You can access the properties for it inside the Details Panel. In the Details Panel for the AI Perception Stimuli Source component. Perception. Register for cents. Okay, so we have sight here. We have a stimulus. Auto register as source. I should probably turn that on. So there's a lot that can go into this. Yargon. Yargon Dargon. Bargain. You're the leading programmer for GTA 6 now? Okay. Man, my PC make Roblox map and animation. You don't have to do nothing. 
That's pretty sick. Me with, with for GTA 6, and I don't have to die. <laughs> GTA 6 is coming out, what, next year? I know they're going in crunch, which means it's going to be soon, but from what I remember, they do crunch. They do crunch time ahead of time. But who knows? Hey, you with 500 subscribe. I know, man. We're trying to get there, but. YouTube's fighting me, man. YouTube's fighting me. We're at 293 right now, guys. Make sure to click the like and subscribe button. Please. Please, for me. We're trying to hit 1,000 by the end of the year, boys. Low-key trying to get the monetization. That's more funding for games. Freaking fight in YouTube. No, YouTube's doing a good job of throwing my stuff up there. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so how do I even t check if this... How do I debug this? Do they have, like, debug? Please see the AI debugging tool page. How do you enable the debug tool? Huh? How do you enable the debug tool? Hold up. Hold up. Hmm? This is slow trance music. Yeah, it's supposed to be synth wave. That don't work for nothing. That don't work for nothing, bro. Let's go into the test. Let's go into the test enemy. We might have to go about this a whole new way. A whole new way, AI underscore, I just put A? To enable AI while your game is running, press the apostrophe key. Okay, I get that, which I did. The apostrophe. I'm hitting the console one. Okay. Which one's for sight? Which one is for sight? Toggle display, perception, debug, behavior tree. How do I toggle the sight? Hmm. Hey, La Lakey, LOL. What's up, man? Dandos is in here. I think it was the key, I think. One of the numpads, the period key. Let's try it. Let's try it. Come on, enemy Slytheon. Let me see what you got, bro. Whoa, whoa, sight, range. Dang, this guy's got some range, bro. Look at that range. Oh, okay, so it's four, green, range in, range out. So we need to lower that immensely. We need to lower this immensely, boys. Raleigh, you must be working on GTA 6 before die. If you die, your girl going to work on GTA 7. She already said she's going to be the best uh, game designer on the planet. Which is crazy. I was like, whoa. Whoa. That's me. No, I'm just...
neon pink. Hmm. Well, it's showing is near player. But I want to see if um, they see my character. Prove me that you have you have dog dance. You want to see Snoopy dance, dude? That's a little that's a little arbitrary. Yet also don't want to move. Well, it's because I have him set to see when he's near players. So I have to figure out that he sees him, right? And then from there, essentially if he sees him, set it to that which I believe is in the controller, right? On perception updated or something like that, right? Register with perception system, unregister, stimuli source. Once the AI inside the details panel, backflip and if you do i'm gonna give you nitro on discord dandos here check out my backflip bro that's all you guys get that's all you guys get dude if you, they see there should be a sphere on your player so you're saying if they see my player there should be a sphere a sphere huh What did I do? I did something last time and it worked. Okay, one for AI, five for the perception system. In range, out range, pending. We got four. What is going on? I mean, I could toggle these things, but now they're untoggable. Okay. Control tab to debug message. Categories, numb dirty areas, tile job running. This, that page heavily reminds me of Roblox creator dashboard. Yeah, I bet your health dude looking like them hearts yeah i've i have i'm not familiar with the roblox creator dashboard but i heard it's fun to use a lot of people use it so so i can turn on these what, what did i do i have the perception now how do i do the perception period numpad zero Zero for all these things. So if I hit that green perception. Okay, now it wants to work. I should see a capsule around my character. I don't. Five. In range, there's two targets. In range, out of range. One, we want to lower this a lot. Who gonna win? Me. I'm gonna win. By the way, guys, if you like the stream, make sure to like the stream, right? Whether you're on Twitch, Twitter, X, or YouTube, make sure to like the stream. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your family and friends. May the loving never end. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to Chase Lee for subscribing to the channel. Bye bye, bye me, bye bye guys. We got Dandos and Ox in the chat. Leak said he sent it to me. <coughs> oh yeah. Oh, you're saying the 
this page, sorry, this page here. Yeah, it does. It definitely does. So. Okay. Maybe I said it wrong on my character. No, we have the AI sight. We have the stimuli automatically setting ourselves to the sense. Delete. I'm not quite sure. Dude, you're making everyone in chat cry. Bye. Mr. Bye Bye Dandos and Ox, dude. Is that a pigeon, Al? You know, I, uh, I got a good joke for you guys. Why does God love pigeons? Hmm. Why does God love pigeons? Tell me, chat. Because everything they say is cool. <laughs> I'm so funny. I don't know why more of you guys aren't subscribed. I do not know why not more of you are subscribed. Like, he's like, bruh. Bruh, I got better stuff to do than this and this. Instantly unsubscribed? Come on. Don't lie to yourself. You know that was funny. You know you smiled a little bit. You know you were like... You, you had that tilted smile, the one where... It... Come on, guys. That's a good joke. Come on. All right, you know, whatever. I can only do so much. I got a game program. I got to do all this stuff. I got to figure out why I can't see myself, even though I've auto-registered myself as a source to the AI Sense site. Nah, I had the, the straight face. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. You know what? You're going to tell that joke again one day to somebody, and then you'll, you'll it'll be like, see, is that funny? Everyone always does this to me, Dan. Every time, bro, I'll, I'll make a joke. And they're like, bro, that's not funny. And then I hear them telling that joke to someone. And I'm like, dude, I thought it wasn't funny. And they're like, when you say it. I'm like, wow. Wow. I'm not native. I didn't get it, so. Dude, you guys need to stop it with all this straight face, okay? Before I start doing this. Tell me, do you guys like this? Hmm? Hmm? You like that? You like that, guys? Is that giving you a headache yet? It should be. Say you're sorry. Huh? Now you're stuck here forever. You don't see anything. I want an apology from each and every single one of you. We got we got Dandos or Ox who said sorry. No, Dandos. All right, Lakey. Okay, cool. Where's, where's Chase? He's the proud one. Yeah, I knew he'd say never. Dandos, sorry. Where's Ox? I need a sorry, man. Where's Al? You guys are lucky. I'm going to start timing some people out. I think the first one is is going to be Dandos, though. Definitely Dandos. Where's Dandos at? All right, Dandos, your time. No, I'm joking. I won't do that to you, man. You're a good guy. He's going to be like, why? We back from hell. Don't make me put you back, chat. Um, you see me pointing at you? You see that slouch, dude? That, that low IQ look that I got, bro? Don't make me put you back here, chat. 
Don't ever make me do it again. Stop poking my nose, dude. I'm picking your nose, bro. We want to go back. Chase Lee loves it. Dandos is my brother. I know I know these. I know these. But what I don't know is why this isn't registering itself as a uh, thing. Come on. Why am I running forever into an endless void? All right. We want perception to AI. Oh, I guess we could turn AI on. Perception. Now it works, huh? Pawn name, movement mode, walking, nav mesh to fall, idle, running, tasks, yada yada, green range. So why am I not being registered here, chat? What's going on? Why does Unreal hate me? I just that's my question, bro. Why does this why does this engine hate me? It never won a worky for me. It never wants to work, dude. Look at this. This guy's obviously in the peripheral vision. I'm in the vision, and yet here we are, not, not here. We are not where we need to be, chat. All right, I guess we can end this. And... We can say set up perception sense. Let's get, let's get rid of that. But I believe there is a virtual void that we can go into and see if maybe there's a little bit more to what's going on here. Um, on target perfect on perception update. Turn an array of actors that signaled the update. On perception, updated. Let's check her out, ladies and gentlemen. I bet you I got to do a bunch of binding stuff, so we're not we're not doing that right now. We're gonna go strictly to the AI controller. Check Dev Console, maybe, possibly. It Ox Respect A. Oh, dude, that's true. He has it now. Chat. Chase Lee has mod privilege. Is it working? But the AI is acting blind to <laughs> to upset humans, most likely. Yeah, yeah, Arrow. Don't don't use don't use the word p word. The p word, dude. Pass. You gotta pass on the p word, bro. It's all right if you guys want to yell at Streamlabs. All right, if branch. Let's do a branch here. Let's make a branch and say if for I don't know updated actors for each loop. Do it for each. We're going to say for each of one of these homeboys, we're going to check if, you know what? What is this? Actor, object, reference. Maybe I make a, I might make a thing for this. So it just does it automatically. And we're going to say if we can't even make a break in here, huh? Or loop. For each with break how how does this even work how does this even work what is this break what do I gotta make a custom event and plug that in all right we're not we're not using that chat yeah, it gives me a warning, really. Dude, you better watch out. You better watch out. Bro. Boop, 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 boop. Brr, All right, uh, I'm gonna make a v bull character. Right, uh, bull is character. Get character. Yeah. This is not going to be a, a bull. 
but it is going to return a what is this an object reference update actors array of actor object references oh my god U T array, or I guess we do a U object, right? We're gonna do a U object. Actually, we need a T array, right? Of actor, a actor, we get a actor, right? My actors, I guess we can call it. And then we will pass out a reference with like a constant, uh, not a constant, we can just say, what is it? Uh, a actor. My actor. I believe that's how we pass it. However, we're going to have to go into the enemy controller script. And um, we're going to actually have to make this a U function. And make it blueprint callable. Yo, Raleigh, how do I become a mod? You got to be here all the time and you got to spread the message of love from our Savior Christ of Nazareth. And you got to tell everyone that 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 pigeon joke I made is really funny. And then, you, then you, you know, then we'll talk when that happens. But until then, don't bring it up again. OK. Not again. I don't want to I don't want to hear it again. OK. All right, gay. What is this? This is how I do the thing, man. This is how we, you know. What do I need to throw a constant in here? A constant? Do I need to go constant a actor? That that there is not what it was. I am trying to return a thing here. I mean, we could do the return whatever, but blah. Al says he would be a, a mod, but he's too he's too busy, obviously. No, you, let's be real, man. You're not mod material, bro. You're not mod material, man. You just scream at me all the time. You would take over, dude. <laughs> Al in the brush is like, what the hell? I'm definitely mod material. Dude, there's only one way for you to prove that to me, Al, is if you become a mod. And you become the best modder that you can ever freaking be. Right? Here 24-7, sharing the stream, timing out people like Dandos who are always, you know, talking about eating cats. Ox, I mean. Right? Like, who, who eats cats, bro? Who eats cats, dog? How do you look at them fluffies? Like their faces, they, they're looking at you like this. They're fluffy little, their little cat necks. Their little fluffy cat necks. And you can't, you can't just grab it and grab their cheeks and go, oh my God. How do you go from that to eat? You better watch out, Raleigh. Bro, I'm always on the lookout. I'm like a freaking, I'm like the meerkats, dude. I'm like these guys. Check it out. Meerkat, dude. Not a meerkat trailer. Meerkat. Check it out. See this, dude? <laughs> dude, the face, bro. <laughs> Look at the face, dude. That's a good face, man. He's he's the wisest of all the meerkats. Look at this fool, dude. Chilling. I'm like this guy, always looking around. Imagine there's just some dude breakdancing behind me right now. No one ever gets past me. I'm too intelligent. My perception skills are a hundred maxed out. Guys, I, I'll watch. I love you guys. We love you too, man. We love you too, man. You know, Lakey, I gave you like a list of things you can do. And the easiest one is just admitting the pigeon joke is funny. But <laughs> yeah, you haven't done that yet, so... You know, that's the easiest one to do, right? <clears throat> yeah. 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 Why isn't this giving me back what I want? How to return a 
variable. I could have sworn this was a thing. But I guess we can just do something like this. We'll just do a actor, my actor. A actor, sorry, we get rid of this here, there. And we do that one instead. Or we do that, I guess, I don't know. End type when we were expecting the freaking thing. I'm starting to get grumpy chat at this. This should have worked perfectly fine. But anyways, we say for each or for. Okay, you can do the parentheses now. So we want to get a list of each actor that's in here. To do that, we're going to say a actor actor in my actors right we're gonna do this whole thing here and apparently they want a pointer and then we say if actor if actor is get world is equal to get world dot get first player controller right if it is equal to that and obviously we want to say dot character get character i think a character is a part of the a actor class so it works The only way to be a mod is to a mod so if you're not a mod then you can't be a mod but it's all modular, right? Oh my god, it's you, Raleigh. Chase Lee, 18 and Owl. Where are you guys? Dude, they're in the void. They're spinning around in the digital hemisphere. The digital hemisphere. Which is not fun. If you've ever been there. <laughs> Posting links. Yeah, you can't post links, bro. It's good to see Streamlabs is doing its thing. No links in here, guys. In fact, uh, let's time him out really quick. Chase Lee, stop subscribing! We get it. You love me, man. I think once you subscribe, you unmod unsubscribe, you unmod yourself. You were tagging. You were tagging, and it gave you it gave you a no no, a no no uh, warning. That's interesting. OBS, I will time you out. You mean Streamlabs, dude. Streamlabs. We want to return this actor if it is the actor we're looking for. And we are going to want to... Uh, can we break from all this? Yeah, we can break. So I guess actually we don't need to use a break because we're returning an actor and if we don't get anything we you know no pointer and no pointer right we getting no pointer bro let us compile and smile one two what do you need to tell us That we're all great and very smart. That's very true. We appreciate you. Skibbity toilet. You really like that show, don't you? Skibbity bee bop, a skibbity bee. What did you do today? Absolutely nothing. It was fun. Perception. Why am I getting four of these? Huh. Why am I getting four? Behavior tree. Why is behavior tree giving me several of these? 
Okay, now that we have that running, we can come in here and do the thing. And we can say, get character. All right, we plug that in. And we get a return value, which is the actor. And uh, branch. Um, null? Do they have like a null? Man, that's actually pretty bad. Do they have like does not equal? Not equal? Like a null pointer? Null? I might have to redo this. This is might be lowbrow logic here, but I'm just trying to do this quickly. So if we do not equal select object. Updated actors, array of actor objects, returns an actor object. Get character. I guess we don't do that. We'll just say I wanted to do a bool that returned one. Let's see if we can do that. Bool. Let's see if we can just super and just do this super quickly. We have this and then we want to say a actor player actor. And then we want to generate definition, copy all this, paste. Then we could say player actor equals, or yeah, yeah, equals actor. And then we can return true, else we return false. And in this case, it won't matter. A actor doesn't equal actor. Is valid check. Just say is valid. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I don't have to do all of that. I can say is valid. No, we want that. We want to get rid of this. We can say is valid here. Is valid. Oh. Oh. Noise. That works perfectly. Thank you, Arrow. You are a life shaver. Uh, string. I just want to print a string. Log string. Print string. Print. C person. Or don't see person. We see that guy. There we go. Make it interesting for y'all. We see that man, he right there. He doing thing we never don't seen. Come on, boy, let's get it. We still not seeing nothing. What the heck is going on? <laughs> still not seeing nothing. Why, dude? Why does it not want to work? Let's 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 save and restart. Ah, let's let's restart it. Maybe that's what it is. After the day is over, you needed to be you need to be there. You need to debug, so just type bugs fixed and compiled, bro. That is actually pretty big brain, low key. What does it mean? Oh, true. A actor. A actor, dude. A actor. Yeah, I know your brother joined the Discord server. By the way, guys, if you want to join the Discord, please make sure to click the link in the description. We got a bunch of people joining in. By the way, guys, if you're a young 
kid, obviously don't dox yourself by revealing your location. Do not do this, it's unhealthy for you. Maybe it's because I have to set it in the actual blueprints. I don't know. But it's at least we know there's another way to handle this. We're obviously adding ourselves to the registration or the sources of senses. AI perception, we have that here. Maybe this isn't working. Do I have editable when inheritable? Start tick. Component replicates on perception update on target perception forgotten. On component activated. Is this component not activated currently? Do I need to activate the component? Activate pers actions component. I can do that. Activate. Maybe we need to activate the component. I mean, it looks like it's already doing its thing. I mean, we see that it has its stuff. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that off. That's obviously a no no. <coughs> I know it's his brother's name. Something else. Test enemy. Boom. Hmm. Shmi. Vlog, not recording to file, debug actor, Slithion C underscore four. And we are not working as we should. Why is that, chat? Why do you think that is? Let's read more of this. Perception, behavior trees up here. AI team, sight, perception, perception function calls, stimuli source. Once the AI, eh, you can use this. Register as source, stimuli, available at perception. Ah. I don't think I'm register with perception system. I'm registering as a source. I can register for sense. Maybe that's it. Raleigh, what?
I did that though. Jesus, dude. This is making me mad. Auto register as source is selected. Unreal Engine hates me. It hates me. I love you, man. I love you too, bro. Do I need to set myself like a as an enemy? Let's do all this. I mean, it sees me now. So it doesn't see me as an enemy. Does it see me as a friendly? So it sees me as a neutral. So how? That's what it is. It's, it's seeing me as a neutral. How do you set yourself up as a non new like an enemy? Yeah, I'll, I'll show up with some donuts. Ha. No, I'm joking. You guys live too far from me. You guys live too far. Um. He taught you how to teleport, Lucky? It's Amin. Welcome back, Amin. You think it would be in here? Right? Like I would have the tag enemy in here or something. Touch, team, team. Hmm. Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. Return team attitude wrapper towards other. I don't want to set up all this just for that. They're telling me this is not exposed already. That's 
ridiculous. There's no way. There's no way that they would they would do that. I just don't see how they don't have anything that would mark my character as an enemy. Team? Enemy? Well, it's nice to know we figured that out. So that's a step in the right direction. Yeah, I'll be streaming on Discord this weekend. I'll have one for everyone, and then I'll have one uh, longer one for people who are tier three. But I have to set up the I have to set that all up, right? I'll be playing a game that time or working on the game. I'll do a poll. I'm thinking about getting Dragon's Dogma too, but we'll see what we do. Dude, you're free tier. You're free tier, dog. You're the free tier. Free tier. Free tier. Cast to... I'm going to ask ChatGPT. How to set character or main... As an enemy. Tier 3, Tier 2, and then Tiers. <laughs> tier 1 and then Tiers, brother. It's your device quality which does that, Aox. You two make live 720p. Maybe the internet? Raleigh, then I'll be on Discord tomorrow. Sounds good. Yeah, that's the 
that's the day I'll have it for the regulars, and then Sunday it'll be for the tier three or tier two and tier three. Tier one is like supporter. Tier two, tier three. I might open it up for tier one as well, but I gotta drive some motive for it, man. You know what I'm saying? There's gotta be some motive to join. If making this stuff was cheap, it'd be another story, guys. It'd be another story. Alright, let's see what he's doing here. I'm just going to randomly do this in the begin. Let's see what chat GPT. AI perception dot register If AI stimulus what is this on here guys detection by affiliation not have this dude that's so ridiculous bro uh because as i said my weekends aren't the same as you that why i thought you would be streaming on discord today true so your sunday is my saturday true since for recommended to use ai controllers provider of diplom diplomacy options Override method with logic of your game. Return team ID. This is so freaking confusing. Set member and generic team ID. Break generic team ID. Make generic team ID. Thank you. This is ridiculous. I can guess your age. I, I bet you can't. I bet you can't. So you have, it looks like everybody's doing this. No. 
I'm younger. I'm old, guys. I'm younger than 33, though. <laughs> you know, I'm not that old yet, man. Come on. Everyone always thinks I'm freaking 18, dude. Or 20, uh, 23 or 21. It's annoying. Like, when I tell people my age, they're always surprised. I'm just built different, bro. Okay, so you, <coughs> you have to use filters. But if you want to have affiliations, you have to do it in C++. Okay. So I have to do it in C++. That's interesting. It seems like it's better to do the tag. How tall are you in centimeters? I am six foot three, my G. My G. I'm not going to go through like a whole list of uh, stuff and set and team IDs. That just seems like a whole wasted amount of time, to be completely frank. AI perception. The interesting thing is that they have on perception updated on targeted.
It's not easy to grab all these uh, things, too. Bam, 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 bam. On target perception. Get actor perception. Returns a list of hostile actors. This is actually kind of annoying me right now. Hostile. Hostile. Component tags. What, would I put a component tag on this? Why do they gotta make so, so darn confusing? What the heck, bro? This is ridiculous. And I'm getting kind of annoyed. I'm getting annoyed. Very annoyed. I do not know what to do. Why would you be Frank when you could be Raleigh? Because Frank is named after a hot dog. All right. So I guess um, get perceived hostile actors. But how can we even see hostile get neutral? Right. Get perceived hostile actors. Oh my god, dude. This this is so weird. Has anyone else figured this out? I can get it's like it sees me. But only when I set it to do all. Not when I do enemy, which is like a hostile. I'm gonna have to wrap my brain around this one for a while. Detect enemies, neutrals. So you gotta do all of them. Um, I mean, I guess if we see the enemy, then uh, if it's the player or the, yeah, the main controller, then Let's see, let's, let's go back to printing the strings. I 
I mean, it sees me, right? Which means my other thing isn't working. All right, it doesn't see me behind them. Which means this doesn't work. Actually, we don't we don't want that there. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? We want to get the enemy character and promote to a variable. But if it fails, we also want to do that. As my enemy character, get enemy character, player. I guess what we should say is get player character. We got the player. Yeah. I mean, he sees him. He sees him. <laughs> Just, I guess we don't have him in the actors, whatever. I mean, it's not even updating the sense either. We're not even getting any, any nothing. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Not really, though. Array index. Updated actors. <sighs> On target Perception updated. No, I can't even do this. Um, on perceptions. That's interesting. I mean, he's obviously seeing the player. Oh, bro, I'm about to lose my mind with this. What the heck is this rink a dink -a link I have the things set to the things on target perception updated. On target, on perception, updated, info updated, AI perception component. I mean, this is the one. Auto activate. Stimulus. I mean, we're not even getting nothing, dude. Like, it's not even doing things. It's not doing nothing. At all. 
It's doing nothing. It's not even updating. Is this on tick? Start with tick enabled. Advance. Tick event when paused. Component replicates. Is editor only. What is going on, dude? This is obviously a stimuli. We got a stimuli, component tags. Does any of these tags, all these components have tags? Okay. This is my getting angry face. Perception, not updating. Losing my mind slowly but surely. I mean, we see the player. <laughs> And we're not, we get this event where we come into line of sight, right? We'll lose out of sight when that happens and that. Oh, now it's playing. What? So it calls it for running in, but if you start in it, can you, What? So it calls on an event when you get in and out. And that's why it wasn't perceiving it. But it's not checking every frame. Whatever. Let's uh, see if this works. Uh, my enemy character dot H. U function. Let's 
So now we know it works when you leave the designated area and when you enter into it. So at least that gives us something that we can work off of, right? That gives us something we can work off of. Meet people, remove people, dance around. Sorry guys, I've been so quiet because I'm kind of getting upset right now. Game is being big dumb. I guess it's not really that, it's just, I don't know how to call it, how to update it every literal frame probably keep working i gotta get off here soon on perception updated It's interesting it doesn't do this every frame though. So it doesn't call it every frame, it's just when you enter and exit into the event. It's like an overlap function, is what I'm get getting at. So if it's true, set is, or No. Oh. Plays once, plays again. So it's like when it leaves, obviously we'll have to, but there's no end. There's no like, oh, we're ending the overlap. There's like no ending. Updated, info updated. Let's see what this does. Does this print the string when we get close? It just says hello. And for right as of the moment, at the event on possess, we're not able to get possessed pawn. I mean, we could say get possessed pawn. Yeah. And then cast that to my enemy character and see if that works. I don't know. I don't care right now. All right, so it works now. I mean, it's working. A fraction of a raindrop. But it works immediately. It's like it's... Cut up to 100 times more so we're going to have to do some things to... Like, there's going to be a lot going into this. What are you... What am I listening to? Sheesh Louish, man. By the way, to all the new subscribers out there, go check out the recent devlog. We're going to have one coming up hopefully this weekend or next weekend, depending on how things go.
<sighs> stimulus. It's like what get sense class for stimulus. Can I break? I can't break, but I can get the stimulus class, which I'm assuming is this or that. Ah, uh, true. True. Break. Can I break? Age, expiration, strength, tag, successfully sensed. Receiver, location, stimulus location. The interesting thing here, though, chat, is that, um, like, if we go here, there's got to be a way to do this. Because if you'll see, he's tracking. He's tracking me. So one, I got to see if he's in this like designated area, right? Ow. So the site stops eventually, but you'll notice that there is some form of site that's occurring. Which I'm gonna have to lower that by a whole lot. Especially if it's if it's gonna be like whenever I enter into this area, you know Right I enter then he sees me Somehow he still notices me though Uh, well, obviously, it's because we don't have it. So when it's set, when he leaves, once he enters or exits completely. So it looks like we have an event, and it's hard to really tell because, well, they uh, do this thing. So we have this one. That's like, oh, he's in the area. But once you hit that inside, that's when the event shoots or is turned. Honestly, let's uh, check this out. Boom. Jesus. Hello. It's saying hello, hello. But that's hard to figure out per se what that actually means. Range out, neon, range in. So when we get range in, Hello. It's interesting because the they literally change at the same time. Why are you going to give me like several updated infos? Like I'm working Raleigh. Why are you going to give me all events that basically do the same thing? It's basically the same thing every time. So I need to know when I leave and when I split struct. Stimulus age, stimulus strength, stimulus location, 
stimulus receiver locations success stimulus tag i don't even know what that means promote to variable i can watch this value i'm so confused right now guys I mean, we got them coming now, but it's like we need to find a way. Obviously, it would be like a bull enter in, exit out, and then depending on what it is, that's what we would be doing. But this is going to occur every time that we do the thing. Ugh. Hmm. You're waiting for what? I thought you were talking to Chase Lee. I'm about to get off, man. I'm not going to join into the Discord. None. There's no tag. What's a stimulus strength? Sounds like a KOTOR thing, huh? Do we need our bot made by Am No, it's it's a bot made by Patreon. It's a Patreon bot. It doesn't say when it's entering in or exiting out.
Okay, so that's the stimulus. Split, you split it. We can't see. Don't you already have like 500 bots in here, bro? You have we have nine bots in here so far. In fact, I might get rid of some of these in the future because there's so many. Half life. Hey, it's a Nan. Welcome to the stream. With a million more on the way. I mean, it works. Like when we go to close enough to this guy, he starts chasing us. Right. Which is awesome. But it's like... The real issue here at the moment is that when we leave, there's nothing changing. I guess I could make it. We can make this 900. And this 900. One of them is mine you created. Okay. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm really trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Want this D? That's pretty cool. Five hundred dollars. This is my lazy T, bro. I value every <coughs> every lazy T I have. They're always big. I don't get how people wear that tight stuff, bro. <coughs>
You already have the lion bot in here, bro. You didn't create that one? Plus, I don't even know what, what you're going to add, what the bot is. Man, I'm in bad mood. <coughs> then why would you move? Why would you add it if you already have it in here? All right. Everything's wrong with the AI, bro. Everything. It ain't doing no, it ain't doing the thing. Okay. So the biggest issue with the AI is it's like hard to detect. I mean, I guess I just have to figure it out slowly, but <clears throat> the main idea is that, you know, right now I'm just essentially checking a bull that turns off that is near player, which makes him run at him and yada yada, but the issue is when these are, these events are called. So there's one when you enter, one when you exit. And one when you go over the perception. Right? Mm-hmm. But the thing is, it won't chase. The biggest issue right now is that my target system is based off of it adding itself to the, the uh, enemy list. And it's not adding itself to the enemy list. Because if I jump behind it, I can't launch at it. Yeah, it does know what to chase. See, he's chasing me, right? But if I jump over his head, it calls an event, and essentially the event turns that off. What are you getting at? I mean, so if I say yes... There's a 99% chance that you'll do it. If I say no, there's still a small chance that you'll still do it.
You shall not. I jest. I jest that you shall not. What's up, Kotagi? Um, what are you going to add to it? I mean... Hmm. WSG cries buddies. That's right. That's straight and right. What'd you learn? All right, well, if you want to upgrade it, you can. But don't be adding anything, any new bots. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. Freaking mad ass one. I prefer to have just one bot, yeah. If that's possible. in which will have sight detection and then chase the player if it sees and detects the player. Nothing is going to happen in this particular version when the AI catches the player. However, I can do something like that in the future if you want to. Let me hit play and shorten the wait stage. So the AI is just going to walk about mining for business until it sees us, and then as you see, it is now chasing us. The speed hasn't increased, but I can do that if we wanted as well. What I'm basically going over is the AI is going to spot us and chase us, and if it loses sight, as you can see there, it's walked off. And you can also increase the time it takes for the AI to lose interest. So I've just got it set to one second after it stops seeing us, it will walk away, as you saw there. And you can have this at 5 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever it is that you want. You can set it up and customize it very, very easily for your own personal needs. So this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create your AI. Now if you haven't already got that, don't worry. What we can do is go to our character blueprint. So here it is in content, third person blueprints. Select it and hit control C. Then go to the folder you want your AI to be in and hit have everything set up which we want. And in here, what I've then done is I've created this random room code, which you can see on screen here. And I also have a video, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below, in which I go over setting up and creating this code here. So once you've got everything else in your AI set up, it's time to start adding in the sight detection. So we can go to the viewport, add a component, and we want to add fawn sensing, as you can see here. We'll compile and save that. And then in here, we can just change all the different values. So obviously we have hearing as well. Uh, we're not going to go over that today. So the sight radius, you can increase how far they're going to be able to see. So like this, I think the default of 5000 is good. And you can also change the angle at which they see, so peripheral vision. 
So something like this. Fawn sensing. And what I like to do is place the AI in the level and have them selected so I can see this in the actual file so I get a good reference of what it's going to be. So I'll have that angle and that far, which I think is good for me. That will work. So I'll open this back up again. And also with this, it already has it built in for objects. So it does have object permanence as well. So it won't be able to just see you through a wall. If that wall is there, has proper collision and all that, the AI will not be able to see you. And that's all we're going to change. Obviously, make sure C pawns is ticked, but it should be ticked by default. Then we're going to scroll down until we get the events. And we're going to get the on C pawn event here. What we're going to do is out of this, we're going to get a sequence node. So you can hold on S left click to get that. Then zero is going to go into an AI move to node with the pawn obviously being get a reference to self. So it's moving this AI and the destination we're going to leave as zero 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 as we're going to use the target actor instead. So the target actor can just go into pawn of the on C pawn. So whatever pawn that the AI has seen that is now going to be the target that the AI is just going to go towards. So wherever the AI moves to, this will constantly be chasing that location and just be following the player. So this is nice and efficient and a really good way of doing it. However, this is going to constantly follow the player even when the AI can no longer see us. So how do we set it up to stop them doing that? Well, out of then one, we're going to get a re-triggerable delay, as you can see here. And the duration of this wants to be 0.6 or higher. So again, I'm going to put mine at 1. The reason why it needs to be 0.6 or higher and the reason why this will actually work is because if we select the pawn sensing, you'll notice our sensing interval is 0.5. So this event here will fire off every 0.5 seconds that the AI is seeing the player. So mm. it will fire off, come through this. If one second has passed and this hasn't fired So there's a yet, tick essentially it will fire in here. Off the code out of this because a retriggerable delay will restart from the beginning. So if the AI sees us, it will go to one and if they're still seeing us it will restart again continually until the ai has no longer seen us so again this value here you will change just depending on how long you want the ai to be able to continue chasing the player for after they've seen so them. what is pawn so sensing a nice five or ten <coughs> just to newer sure than the you know the AI lose sight of them. perception and system lines ready you just put this in here and you probably want to do some testing just to see what works perfectly for you but to actually stop the AI from chasing us. Because you gotta tell more of your friends about me, I mean. Movement immediately. Or you can do an AI move to and just have the destination as get actor location. So just stop them where they are. But what I'm gonna do is just call my random roam code. So it's just gonna go straight back into my random roaming. Now, if you have patrol code, you could put the patrol there. But essentially, whatever you want the AI to start doing when they stop chasing, you put that there. And that is pretty much it. It's very, very simple code to do. So we can compile and save. And again, that's all we need to do. So we change You don't have <coughs> any friends in your area, I mean? All that. And we've also set up this code here to chase us until it's no longer sees us for longer than one second. So we're going to close this. And there is now one final thing left to do. And that is just to make sure that AI can actually move in our level. So we're going to go up to the add to project up in the top mm -hmm. left up here. Go down to volumes. And at the top one of nav mesh bound volume. And this again just means that the AI can actually walk about in our level. So we're just going to put this pretty much in the middle of our project. And then just make this the size of the area which we have. So the AI can walk around. And if we were to press P, we can preview what this is going to look like. So anywhere that is green, the AI can walk. So this is going to be perfect for me. So I'll press P again and hit play to test this out. So again, they're walking about. They've seen me and they're now coming towards me. You can see they are chasing me like this. And if I were to get out of sight for over one second, they will stop chasing me as you saw perfectly there. They started random roaming again, which made them just turn around and walk away. So if I walk in front of them again, they should start chasing us until they can no longer see us. Here we go. Let me actually just be able to get in front of them real quick. They keep turning away like this. So they're now chasing us once again. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set up an AI in which what it's going to do is be able to see us using sight detect.
right, agree with client and start time tracking <coughs> for Q4. I was thinking. What are you thing. doing? Oh, uh, we needed a whiteboard wall. We got this really important thing coming up. That Is we... that permanent marker? No. On my wall? Yeah. Wow. How many times have I told you? Not hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal um, 4 story. In today's video, we'll be going over how to create an AI slight detection and chase. I want to see if he's using the pawning sensing system in there. If they need to, so if one of them. AI perception if you want, but for mm. sight, I personally use pawn sensing. So what's the point of using what I'm using? This looks like it's way better because it, it occurs every tick. This does not occur every tick. I mean, I could write something in here, like, oh, this new player, every tick, do this, right? Hmm. Regardless, guys. It is currently... 135, which means I got to mount. I will catch you all Monday. Yeah, Monday. Um, but until the next time, you know, God bless. I'll catch you around. And Jesus loves you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bye, everyone.